Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome to Let's Play The Telltale's Expanse. Uh, hmm. It doesn't start on the main menu so I can't actually do anything about the audio until the game starts. Weirdly enough. The Artemis, Belter Salvager near Jupiter. Listen, come on. Yeah. All right. Let's uh deal. I probably should do that, but I won't. Alright, what do we have? Um, cinematic view distance. What the hell does that even mean? We'll leave as it is, I guess, and we'll see. Uh, subtitles? Oh, that's nice, you can uh, make the action timers bigger or uh, remove them, which is also kinda great. Not everyone uh, loves QTEs um, or being stressed uh, with time. I still don't see... Uh, oh, maybe here. Cool, alright. Uh, let's go. There, look. Listen to me, damn it. Gonna listen to me. Only you didn't fuck up with Naros. I like the character by goddamn, she screwed up really well. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. I think that is here, uh, the actress, by the way, the from the show. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly. You and me. Looks rather good for a Telltale game. The first some Telltale games looked good. A Wolf Among Us, for example. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But the past is the past. I think I see some screen tearing. I'm not sure if that passes on the recording. The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Okay. Hmm, you don't know me, that's a weird thing to say. Anderson Dawes is a gangster and a killer. It's not hard to piss off a man like that. Well... His loss is my gain. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. There's definitely some screen during. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. So, I think I will try the controller. 
Uh, is there a V-Sync? There is no V-Sync? Try that, I guess. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. Um, sure, I would think. Yeah, I'm saying, or whatever the fuck you people say. <laughs> Close enough. I better hear, hear some uh, Beltaloda. Also, if you're not familiar with um, Telltale Games, uh, they released this episodic, uh, which means it used to be one per month. Now that they kind of closed and uh, reopened again, or at least someone opened and kept their name, um, they went to two weeks. I'm not sure why they went back to Episodic. I think it was an experiment that kind of didn't work. Except if you're making something like uh, Game Pass games, which it would make sense for that, but... This isn't there, or PS Plus, extra, whatever. But at least it's two weeks, so there is that. Oh, I also received the giver this, by the way, so... Latest Forgot to mention. <laughs> I should start by briefing Khan. It definitely looks much better than I thought it would. I think I could uh, perhaps put the gamma a bit down. Yeah, that's a bit more. Officer deck, ladder, is there a map? I don't know. Bye bye. So far it's good. If you're lost, press to pink. Okay, cool. Hmm, cool stuff, cool stuff. I won't do the can thing, but you know. New orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. Yeah, this definitely looks Sad. much better than I thought. Me. Eh, this drummer is not known for patience. Call me that again. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the ocean lobby. That's interesting. I think that's uh, her thoughts sound different than when she speaks. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. Well, that's cool. More games should do that. Assume this is Khan's husband. <laughs> it's the happiest I've ever seen her. Give me that sweet sci-fi. Oh, gunner station. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. This ship seems rather large. Like the Rosinante was a warship, I guess, so it was very small. Do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Hmm. 
Hmm. Very interesting. Make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. I'm definitely feeling this. Ship name Ursana B. Ship type United Nations Navy Leonidas class. Uh, I missed that tutorial completely. Location Jupiter orbit. Mission specifications. Enter the ship, scan the area, and return with any valuables. Potential risks. No one knows why the Ursanabi goes in this area, or why they never send out a distress signal. Whatever caused the wreck, pirates, Martian forces, might still be in the vicinity. Crew. Sid Drummer, A. Morozov, R. Morozov, scavenge. M. Castillo, scanning and reconnaissance. So, four people. Not that big. Drummer's log. The Ursanabi is a brand new wreck. If Cox Intel is good. The United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of one of their navy, but that could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always, but there, is, but there could be valuables on board. Uh, Artemis crew roster. Captain Garrison Fox, Cox, uh, executive officer. Camina Drummer, Pilot Cantran, Medic Virgil Marx, Engineer Maya Castillo, Crew Arlen Morozov, Regan Morozov. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people. Not bad. Drummer's Log. Cox has assembled an interesting crew. The twins, Arlen and Regan, are the only other belters. The rest come from the inner planets. Maya from Mars, Virgil from Luna, and Cannon Cox from Earth. None of the inners really talk about what brought them to the belt, but that's no surprise. You don't become a scavenger because things were going so well at home. Nice. Okay. I like to have multiple logs. That's pretty cool. Okay. New Artemis Logan. Oh, yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of time in that. I probably won't read all of it, but I love shit like that, so. Drummer's log. The Artemis. Oh, wait. Let's go. Artemis Diagnostics. Flight systems operational. Navigation operational. Comms operational. Life support operational. Radiation shielding operational. Fuel reserves 23%. That's not a lot of fuel. Okay. The Artemis is my favorite kind of ship. From a distance, it looks like a beaten up rock hopper. But once you get inside, you see how well she's been taken care of. It is the only safe way to travel in the belt, where pirates will shoot down anything shiny. I'd assume the Artemis had a top-notch engineer, but Maya has only been aboard for a month, and according to Arlen, Cox fired the last engineer two years ago. We'll have to dig up the maintenance logs to see who keeps the ship from falling out of the sky. Cool. Okay, okay, I guess we're going down to speak to people. Now that we saw everything. The game plays more smoothly too than uh, usual Telltale games. To Movement wise. It is definitely much smoother. I would prefer. If this was in ultra wide, why isn't it in ultra wide? By the way, yeah, the screen resolution is ultra wide. I don't know why it's not actually on ultra wide in game. Mm, I'll take it after this. Uh, actually, I will check it now. All right, so. I found the patch I user made for ultra wide. It's not official, so there is some junk when it's loading. But appara apart from that, it works fine. Now, two bad things about the game. Apparently, well, there is no manual saving, and it didn't save at all. I just had to redo that. And B, you cannot skip cutscenes, dialogue, etc. At all. Which is pretty bad in a game that's heavy with a uh, story if you can well it's pretty bad 
in any game. Just don't do that. Give me an option to skip. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it? Three days ago? Lazy German. Also, I would have liked the Vision options. There is some. There is some wonkiness. Might be the player too, I guess. Mm. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. I'm guessing I need to go that way, right? Oh no. Well, we'll go this way then. Oh. Of course. Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work. Doing up then. Hello. Are you in there? Whoa. It wouldn't be Telltale without the bugs, I guess. To be fair. Ship's diagnostics always. Okay. Good. Same, the same, same. Much to look at, but she's built to this is also made by Deck 9. Deck 9, right? Or Deck 13? Oh. I should know this. Alright, Deck 9, it is. Which, uh, I guess, Telltale uh, partnered with them to make this game. They made the um, um, Life is Strange through Colors, which was pretty good. So I have high hopes for this. Actually, really, I think it's the best uh, Life is Strange game. Their uh, latest one. I really liked it. Alright, can I read this here? Yep. Artemis Logs. Mission Log. Uh, crew Deck Airlock. Um, scavenged fuel pellets and the reaction mass assorted 198 supposedly rockhopper near Ganymede scavenged nothing rockhopper turned out to be a solar backscatter 8-9 two scattered UNN cruisers oh do they do dates correctly? that's uh, unusual for a game uh, Made in the US. Actually, I'm not sure where Deck 9 are from. Maybe they are uh, from elsewhere. Uh, Scavenge assorted research equipment. According to Virgil, some may have resale value. 19 of um, September, I guess. Defunct research station on Triton. Scavenged assorted research equipment. Okay, again, might have some uh, money from those. Scavengers have to travel long distances between jobs. So every score counts. But the Artemis have been averaging only two missions a month. Supplies and morale are low. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, this... It's gonna be spoilers for the expanse. If you haven't uh, seen the expanse, so move along a few seconds, like a minute. The death of um, the Beltre character, I don't re remember what it was called, Asford, something, was fantastic and also really upsetting because I love that character. Like, really, really liked him. I am thinking things. Would be nice if you had the... Um, man, this is a big ship. Uh, would be nice if you had the Dead Space. Dead Space came out, like, what, 15 years ago? How the fuck did no one copying their fucking awesome UI? You even have this. Press X to... Uh, Press Express R3, whatever. Get the pink. Why do you not do the line? Yeah, damn it. Everyone should copy Dead Space for its UI. It's amazing. It astounds me that they haven't done that. Virgil. Virgil. 
<laughs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series. Mm, her posture is like uh, the character, to the actors. Sadly occluded. That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But Us. into more mishaps than a normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. We need the money. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. I think I already love this ship. Just some good shit, some good sci-fi shit. Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Alright, I'll be right back and I do pet my dog. High-end navigation or communication. Alright, now that's done. Let's move on. as well any other medic and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this but not this medic all right we seem to have a good medic at least we never have enough supplies but Virgil always seems to make do this is a pretty good med bay Again, for a scavenger, uh, simply seems rather uh, impressive. When Cox recruited me. A big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Yeah. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? Be prepared. This guy is always right. No one on this ship likes to talk about their past. But Virgil is a real mystery. Only Cox knows his deal. And he's not saying. I guess that is his room. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. To the mess hall. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. Whoever stole my barbecue sauce, I will find you. What's the excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow, just let me go. It just fell, okay? What well, I tell you? Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey, boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Yeah, sure. Carry on. We're not on a Martian ship. See, Pashanwala? Even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good brother. <laughs> we got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah. Fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. Gonna throw you out there, look. Give me three months, and you never have to work again. He said. He said, this is the next job. And he, the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? <laughs> this isn't <laughs> series. On the ship, I'm the Exo. Shh. 
Yeah. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. <laughs> All right, nice. Um, refrigerator access log. Uh, so far, the most communicative member of the ship has been the refrigerator. Cox records are spotty at best, but according to this log, most of the crew have been traveling together for several years, with the exception of Maya Castillo. Our engineer, who arrived soon after I did. Cox late night snacking habits, while prolific, aren't part of the scope of this log. Maya is making an effort to learn some belter words, and Arlen is... trying to help. Oh yeah, hello. Oh yeah. Oink, goodbye. Oh that good, please. Taki taki, thank you. Im, ta, nothing, you're welcome. Baltaloda, residence of the belt. India Loda, residence of the inner planets. Compeng, friend. Friend, really? Okay. Boss Manko, obviously. Okay. Expletives, Sabaka. Eldam. Elota. Kaka. Okay, obviously. Pasang. Owala. Degmeng. Okay. Cool. We're learning some uh, languages. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. I like that the last choice was punch him or whatever. It was the other one. I dislike it when um, they give you choices that are vague in games like this, especially so. Because, of course, no save file and uh, your choices matter, etc. etc. A lot of people don't go to save scam. So, you try to pick a choice and your character performs something else than what you wanted, which is completely immersion breaking. You should always be clear on what it actually does. Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dry kibble. Arlen is right, that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. That was uh, also a bit too harsh uh, with the pants. But uh, we'll put it down on... Uh, she has issues. Well, what happened on the last... Uh, well, with Dawson. Fruit in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. All right, cool, cool, cool. Maya next, I guess. TA five minutes, drummer. Maybe not. We'll do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I guess we'll meet uh, them later. I'm not sure if. I guess it sounds like a girl name, but I'm not sure. Could be a guy name too. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. Not a room. Uh, armor also. If he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of trust, we'll all be finding pieces in our beds. Again. So, Ar... Whatever his name is, Regis or whatever. So, is the resident fuck up, I guess. Belta Pride, Captain Frost, Metal Lord. <laughs> That's pretty good. I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the sake of crew unity. So instead, he displays it here like a petulant child. So, were we both uh, not be at the same time? The same place? I don't know.
Τι drummer. Είμαι καυστήγερο, το λόγω space. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine. But Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. Dishonorable notice. Oh, damn, okay. Discharge dishonorable. Reasons for your discharge include, but not limited to, insubordination, three counts. Dereliction of duty, two counts. Sharing anti-Martian media, literature or sentiment, two counts. Fraternization, one count. The MCRN does not tolerate the divisive behavior within its ranks. In order to prosper, all citizens must work to serve the Republic and advance Martian interests. By failing in your duties to Mars, you have impeded the cause to which billions of Martians have dedicated their lives. Martians were so cool, man. Uh, I really, really liked uh, how they operated, and it made total sense too. Somehow, I am not surprised to learn that Moya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. Uh, what? Weird. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt. Despite whatever Philota this book taught her. Zara Station, the jewel of the belt. I'm guessing this is pre-expanse uh, TV show. Should be right. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from... Anything else? Those gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. Not subject to coming a drummer, you think the dogs at Ceres were dangerous? Every Ubica in the belt will be after you now. Dead or alive, I told them. Then suffer Pasa, Kamina. Hmm. I guess that's a uh, dozen. How do we go next? Next. Took every next. yen I had to get off series without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Uh, notification are warrant. Uh, records indicate that you have not returned to your apartment in Hermes Square in nearly two months. As such, we surmise that you have left Series Station. Your arrest warrant remains in effect throughout the belt and if found. You will be returned to series for indictment and incarceration. However, we are prepared to re-examine the charges against you. Should you find yourself in possession of information regarding others on those whereabouts? If you wish to speak further on the matter, my I don't know why it keeps disconnecting because uh, it has batteries, so wants to be weird, I guess. Uh, if you wish to speak further on the matter, our office will is willing to compensate you for your time. Okay, yeah. Give us those and, and uh, you are okay, yes. Bank statement, first bank of series to come in a Dermer. Starting monthly balance 43 CNI. Empty monthly balance 43 CNI. Okay. Never had time for dating on series. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. We're sorry to see you go. Hey there, Kamina. Due to a lack of payment, we regret to inform you that your account with low gravity, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> has lapsed. We hope this is a sign that you have found the connection you've been looking for. As the premier website for singles and open-minded couples on series, LGNP wishes you the best. If your circumstances change, we will be proud to offer our fully encrypted discretion guaranteed services to you again. That's pretty cool. Alright. A little token of my childhood on series. Each time it gets another crack. It reminds me of that shit heap even more. Right, shoot up time. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Oh, that's nice. Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda. But you are not a traitor. That doesn't sound like Anderson. You love your belt. And right now, Bell is me. Could be the same actor. But I don't think so. I'm not sure. All 
Alright, time to scrap and I guess. But before we do that, I'll end the episode here and uh, do that in the next one. For now, thank you for watching. As usual, feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, all the good things. I like uh, that it was a slow start. Well, I made it slow, I guess, with all the going around and looking at everything. But that's how I like to play games. Uh, I'll be back soon with more. Have a good day and I will see you next time.